I thought the zero turn could mow this ragweed, but... Cross! Look at, look at all the tadpoles! You see the tadpoles, guys? That's a big old Iowa common snapper. This is plot screen. All right, let's go get in and we'll go do the next spot. Hey guys, just walk right up the edge, okay? Beans and corn growing together. As you can see, we had a great day here at the home farm with the family today. Very productive day. Uh, as you saw in our last blog, we were getting plot screen up out here. And the co-op is due to come and spray, do my second round of spraying on my beans. So one of my projects today was to get all the strips of plot screen flagged around it too. And that was fun for the kids to get involved. And, over the last couple of weeks, we've been getting a lot of projects done. The primary one on the list was to get the bean plots fenced. And down at the River Bottom Farm and in my little farm in Southern Iowa, we've had a lot of browse pressure on the young beans and we were able to get all those plots fenced. So I was excited with that amount of work we got done. And I've been getting the brassica plots uh, fertilized so that we can get those planted here in a couple of weeks. Today, after we spent the better part of the morning out here, we uh, went home and got this redneck blind mounted on a trailer. This year I ordered a few of the big country redneck blinds. They're six by seven. And uh, with me and my wife and the kids and a cameraman all coming to the blinds, we decided to get some of these that are another foot wider. We got the awnings mounted to it. And I got four trailers on Facebook Marketplace this year. So uh, it's hard to find trailers anywhere and I didn't really want to buy new trailers to put out here. We're just getting uh, jacks welded to the four corners and new boards put on so I can uh, mount these blinds. It's a really functional way to get these blinds out on the farms and be able to move them around, put them on the hilltops in the fields, but move them off the field when it's planting time, etc. So it, it makes us nimble and it's really great to be able to move around depending on where I want to leave uh, the food standing, etc. So we got that done. These new blinds are awesome. They've got built-in lights. The shelves every year they continue to make improvements and certainly uh, excited to use this blind this year after we got the blind mounted we moved down here to my home farm to do a little velvet filming I've got Anna with me Anna is seven she'll be eight in October and she killed her first uh, buck and doe last year during late season with the crossbow and we decided to come sit for the last hour of the day. It was 92, 93 degrees today, so I figured the deer would move pretty late. Gavin and I are in this blind, and then Rye is over in her other redneck blind, hoping to see if we can uh, lay eyes on any of these velvet bucks. Big Mac and Patient X, if you guys remember last year, Patient X has a big tumor growing on his face. He's had it for three years, and we didn't think he was gonna make it last year. He showed up again this summer, and he's growing his best rack yet. He's running this creek bank with Big Mac. Just a few days ago, I got some pictures of a very interesting deer, by far and away the best looking deer I have out here so far this summer. 
and for early July, I'm impressed. He's kind of a lopsided deer. He's got a big uh, five point side on the left and then a bunch of stuff coming out of the right side. Big gnarly brows and he just looks like a really cool deer. I'm not sure which deer it is from last year. I have a couple that it could be, but um, I'm excited to see what he finishes off as. But we're excited, we've got about an hour left. We'll see what comes out. was a fun little sit. Had a good time. <laughs> we ended up seeing four does and a spike. Uh, no show on the mature deer. Rye had a pretty good sit. He saw one decent buck and a few other younger bucks and a couple does. He had quite a few deer coming out. Kind of as we expected. We got here just in time. It was so hot today in that last hour they really started moving out. Uh, we have better weather coming this week. We're gonna have a cold front come through, so we're gonna try to get out later in the week and sit over these beans and see if we can't lay eyes on one of these better bucks. So we'll uh, catch up with you guys then.